I think it's really important to talk about passion. There's so many people out there that get jealous of other people, not just for their accomplishments, but a much more unique jealousy. Jealousy of their passion, envy for their inherent interest in a subject. Sorry, I'm eating a Skittle right now. <laughs> passion at least my best tracks, my best music tracks, don't come from, oh my God, like this is the best thing ever. Like it comes from being curious, the curiosity, just like, oh, will this chord match with this chord? Because of these details about how to construct the bigger picture. Those things to a non-passionate person are a pain. They're painful to deal with. And you don't need to put yourself through that pain. There can be things that are painful that you force yourself through in your passion or discovery of a passion that will later motivate you to get through that passion. But these things all come down to curiosity. That's something super important to stress, especially these days when you have people who it seems like they have had the easy way. It's just not true. Like I see people on TikTok who get super famous. Maybe they look really good. Yeah, they're super sexy that might motivate them to make more videos but there's still a point where they're like oh my god man i can't oh, i can't fucking do this every day but they still push through and do it because there's something they're curious about what if i did that with this thing what if i looked pretty next to this thing there's always something keeping them curious now if you don't look like a supermodel there's, there's no need to fret because there's other ways actually the majority of ways it's not just looking a certain way because that's ridiculous. There's other ways to find that passion. And the goal should not be passion itself. Passion pushes you towards a goal. It's just being curious about something. That's the bottom line. That's all you need to worry about is worrying about the details. It's very painful to do anything in life. There's, there's discomfort to it. And if your interest and curiosity in something overrides those discomforts and pain in doing something, that's when you know you're truly passionate about it. Another way to know you're truly passionate about something is if someone better than you in that field inspires you instead of makes you feel insecure. Our sensitivity in the way we interpret things and other people's accomplishments tells us how much passion we actually have towards something. Sometimes there's wants and desires uh, that are in different phases or different uh, like isolated categories of wanting something. You might want the end result of something, but not care about how, what it took to get that thing. But then you might want the details of something and that'll lead you to the end result that you weren't even thinking about to begin with. You know, when I write music, I don't I'm not trying to be the best composer alive. That would be very, that would be very convenient. That would help me a lot financially. Please make it happen, please. But when I write music, it's, it's something, it's out of something that other people would find boring. It's like, oh, let's try like, what if we had a melody that doesn't have a climax? What if we do a melody that's just like this? Sometimes it's not even that. Sometimes it's just an unspoken curiosity of like, oh, that sounds cool. Like, let's keep on going with that. Not that it's gonna lead to the, the banger, the ultimate banger, man. We're, we're, we're really, we, we've been really hitting it home now. Like we're really gonna get super famous with this track. That's not passion. Passion is um, pure curiosity. Because what if we, what if suddenly the world changes and there's no more bangers? What if people hate music suddenly? Well, you can't have bangers with that. But if you're truly passionate, you're curious about how it works. There's people who, and this applies to other areas, there's people who are the best and very passionate about catching crayfish. But the world's not after the best crayfish catch. There's a community that supports each other, probably. But they're curious about what's the ways to do it? What's the best rod to use? If you use a rod in that, I don't know. Um, what's, what kind of crayfish live in different areas? These are all things that are really boring to the common person but not to a passionate person. Your, your interest and curiosity has to override 
the boringness objectively in something and it has to override the discomfort in the behind the scenes of doing it. The means to the end. You just gotta be curious about shit. Do it. There's people who are on the other spectrum where they're really good at something, but they're not, they don't care about it. Like I, being in the composing industry, I know of composers who have been like John Williams level, like amazing, amazing composers. They don't give a shit about it. They're just like, oh, they're like goodwill hunting of composing. And I'm like, I don't know, I'm just gonna get a farm or work on a farm or, or um, just live a normal, ordinary life because that's what I want to do. Or they, want, or they have another passion. Like, I want to go into mathematics. But it's the, no matter if you're good or bad at something, it's about being curious. If you're curious about something, you'll always get better at it, no matter what. I'm learning chess right now. I'm not Magnus Carlsen, who can remember 10,000 games in his entire career. I don't have this innate mathematical array and ability to just understand how things work in an unspoken way. Maybe I do in some other forms, but certainly not the level of like the best chess player in the world. But I'm curious about chess. It's an unspoken feeling. It's like, I want to play the game. I want to win, but more than I want to win, I want to play it. I think that's the key. And because of that curiosity, I look up other ways to play. I look up, well, what if I move my knight uh, on the opening instead of moving a pawn? Or what if I do this? What if I do that? It's all curiosity. And that leads me to becoming better. Is the goal really to be better? Only because it makes it more interesting and it fuels the curiosity. The goal shouldn't be better because you want to be superior to somebody. Um, that's not a moral argument either. It's because it's boring. It's boring to constantly be like, oh, I'm better than this guy. It's like, how many more people can be better? You're better than someone at something right now, you know? Sorry to sound ableist, but if there's somebody who can't, doesn't have legs, you're, you're better at walking than them. And if you don't have legs, but you have arms, you're better at grabbing things than someone who doesn't. You know, you can breathe. Like there's so many things that you're already better at. So power is not the issue. It's the interest in something. My first tracks in music, that sounded awful. I mean, I, can, I wish I could find them so I could show you guys just how bad they sounded. But it's because I was curious about music and people try to tell me all the time, you know, you have this innate talent, you have this very like built-in God-given gift of being able to craft melodies. Like, no, I hell didn't. When I started, oh my God, no. Like there's sensibilities that I had that are only because I was sensitive and interested in what I was hearing at the time. And I picked up on the sensibilities and I just went with it. And it wasn't a scheme, it wasn't some overthought issue of like, I'm going to be the best composer and use my sensibilities. It was the sensibility itself acting upon itself. It was like, like when I hear music and when I write music, it's the same process in the brain. It's me going like, oh yeah, that, that sounds like that. And <laughs> it's very hard to explain, actually, but it's, it's, you can think of it as being interested and curious about something. That's it. That's all it takes. So, hope this helped you out. And don't feel bad about not finding a passion, because that stuff is stupid, too. There's no a passion in something. You're interested in general. You can make yourself curious about something. There's always a way to package a boring topic into something more interesting. And then you dive into that. You go from one question to the other. It could be a verbal question. Like, if there's a lot of lights in an office building and you see an office worker just wandering in his room, you're like, what's that guy's story? What does he have a family? What is he doing there in this super high place? It's on some skyscraper, it's some bank building. And then you might become a screenwriter or you might become an interviewer of that person or that kind of field, or you might work his job, right? Curiosity leads to all these different things. So passion is not that linear. There's, there's boring things and there's passionate things. Passion will also help you get through the days where 
you're not feeling motivated. Because again, curiosity, curiosity lifts us out of that because curiosity is not just a feeling. Curiosity is an actual question. It's wanting to find out something. It's a desire to just get information, really. And that information doesn't have to be in verbal form. Sometimes it is. It depends on what you're curious about. But in music's case, it's not. It's like, oh, okay, now I know what that sounds like after trying these different experiments. Go for curiosity and you'll win the game. Because even if you don't make it, even if you don't get super famous or, or be as good as whatever random person who you're choosing to be envious of, who, by the way, isn't good at some other things that you might be good at, you're just pre-selecting it. Even if you don't get that good, your curiosity gives you the fulfillment of purpose of like, okay, I have to find this out. And it gives you a learning mindset. And you can easily just be happy from that. You're always constantly engaged with something, which is the thing at the beginning that you're jealous of, if you are jealous of other people's passion for something. Passion is just hours put in to something from having curiosity. If anyone is better at you than anything, it's because they put more hours into it, because they're more curious about it. Sometimes it isn't just like they put more hours because they're just a hard worker and they want to torture themselves. Sometimes they're genuinely, actually most of the times, they're genuinely more interested in that thing. It doesn't mean that they have an innate interest in it. Sometimes they just have the right set of tools to make something more interesting to them. Whatever circumstances happened, that just became interesting to them. And you have that same power in you. So go for it. If that's what you're feeling, make yourself curious about something. See ya.